right there, if you would. Grab a seat right there. What's your name? Dane. Dane, that's great. Great Dane. Great Dane, yeah, okay. It's a tough room, tough room. Dane, can we try something a little different? Can we try to read your mind? Sure. Now, when you read someone's mind, it's not like reading a book. It just doesn't work like that. Visual information can be sent and received. Nothing is more visual than the movies. That's why I had a movie screen printed on these cards. Now, Dane, I'm going to ask you, sir, to think of one of your favorite movies. Just think it. Notice I don't say your favorite. If you ask me to think of my favorite movie, I couldn't come up with one. But one of my favorites, I could. Do you have a movie in mind? Yes. Dane, I'm going to give you uh, the pen. I will put out the point. I'm going to ask you, sir, to print the title of your movie, big and bold, like it was coming up the start of the movie. Sort of do it under the table. I'll turn my back. And then when you're finished, bring the card up upside down so we can't see the writing. Okay. And obviously, it goes without saying that Dane and I didn't meet previously or prearrange anything. Cool. So many different movies to choose from. Dane, let me know when you're finished. I'm done. Great. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what you do, sir. Would you slip your card into the center of the stack right there? Perfect. No, into the center. Yeah, into the center. Uh, here's what we're going to try. We're going to try uh, a, a little something, Dana. Um, and, and you're going to help. Oh, I'm sorry. Not Dana. Dane. The reason I have you write the card, uh, the movie down, there's two reasons. One, this brings it from the world of the psychological into the world of the physical. A moment ago it was just a thought, now it exists in reality. Two and more important, this keeps him from lying and making me look bad. I did this last week in Vail. The guy was thinking of the movie Pope Fiction, but he had his kids at the table. When I said, sir, what's the name of your movie? He said, The Wizard of Oz. If we need proof, we have it. I don't think we'll need proof. This is my business card. I'm going to use my business card to try a technique called automatic rating. Dane, what I want you to do, don't say anything, sir. Think about the name of your movie. Just think about some of the scenes. Of right away, I get the impression that it's a um, it's a color movie. It's not an old black and white movie. Um, that's definitely a spaceship. I'm pretty sure that's a space. I believe that's Harrison Ford. I think I have seen this movie. I will write down the title. I will draw a circle. Dane, would you hold out your hand like that? Now, Dane, you've probably seen thousands of movies in your lifetime, correct? Thousands of movies. You could have thought of any one of those. Would you name the movie aloud? Star Wars. Would you turn over and read the title that I have circled on your card? Star Wars. May the Force be with you. <laughs> Dane, I'd like you to keep my card. You never know when you'll need a mind reader. I know it'll be sometime within the next year. Give a nice round of applause for helping out. Thanks a lot, everybody. Any other? That's awesome. Any farm, it can be a star, man. If she